am here going to make some hearty lasagna soup. Alrighty, so I am making hearty lasagna soup. Um, a little bit different. I'm just going to grab my ground beef. If you hop on, say hello, let me know you're here. Okay, one second while I grab my meat so I can get it going. Okay, so if you're popping on, I am making hearty lasagna soup. Okay, so actually, let me. So how is everyone doing today? I have a massive headache. So I figured making some hearty soup would be perfect for comfort food. Just once it's ready, I can just relax with a nice warm bowl of soup. I'm also going to be making uh, homemade garlic bread. Well, the bread's not homemade, but the garlic and uh, me making it is. Um, so we're just gonna fry this up here. This is, I actually have ground pork today. Um, you can use ground beef, you can make it vegetarian by using uh, zucchini or other options. Many, many ways of uh, making this. So I'm going to add the speedy lasagna seasoning with my handy dandy scissors. So it says to add the seasoning um, before the ground or the meat is cooked. So we will just get that in there. Let it all the flavor soak in. I have my meat separator that works wonderful on uh, chopping up meat, separating it. Stirring. So as you can see, the seasoning is now all over the meat. Um, so we'll just uh, get it browned up. We'll make sure that it's all cooked. I have um, pre-made some nourish broth. Uh, you can use nourish broth or any other broth that you have. Uh, we'll be adding that as soon as the meat is browned. This is my 3-in-1 spatula that I love for many, many reasons. It is one of my number one products. Um, yeah, it reaches deep into containers. It scrapes bowls completely clean. It's fantastic. 
So while we wait on that, I'm going to chop up my veggies just into little pieces. Now it, the recipe says to use bell peppers. Um, I don't use bell peppers very often. They're hard, uh, hard to digest. Um, so I am going to use just some mixed veggies here. I'm going to chop them up. Well, we wait for that. So, let me know you're here. Tell me how your day was. I want to know. I went for a walk today, just a short walk to get outside, and the air was so warm. Now, there was still a tinge of cold in there, but it was much warmer than it has been. Um, so, it was really nice to get out. And as I said, I've had a headache all day. So uh, that also helped getting out. Now for it to be a hearty soup, usually you have bigger pieces. I like um, bite-sized pieces so that I can have a little bit of everything on my spoon. Some people like big chunks. It's all, uh, all up to your preference. That's the nice part about cooking at home is you make it how you like it, not the way someone else does. Okay, so we're almost ready here. I see just a few more pieces of red meat in there. I will finish chopping this up. Oh, hi Elaine. It is a nice day, isn't it? Welcome. I am making hearty lasagna soup out of the speedy lasagna packages. Um, it's an easy, easy recipe. Um, I have pre-made the broth, which I will be adding in a minute because my meat looks like it is good. Okay, so it's very seasoned, as you can see. I am now going to add my broth and my tomatoes. So it's four cups of broth of your choice. Um, as I said, I used the nourish broth. Well, I have the chicken broth. Um, it's now called Nourish Broth. It's the same thing. So I just had to change the name. So I'm going to pour it in. So we got that. And diced tomatoes. A whole can of diced tomatoes. Okay, so I'll give that a little spin here. Stir it up. Now we're going to cover this slightly, partly cover it and bring it to a boil. So I just want to make sure it's good and mixed up. Um, turn that up a bit and I will partly cover it and bring it to a boil. So while we wait on that, I will finish chopping my veggies. Have you made soup out of your lasagna packages, um, Elaine? I know you made lasagna, the speedy lasagna in the microwave, which looked fantastic. I love that you share your photos with me and that you participate in my group. Participation is huge. Elaine has won um, some free products. She's won discounts um, and 
from my event the other week. I didn't announce the winner, but Elaine is the winner and she will be getting uh, more discounted product. She has ordered the Extraordinary Trio um, that comes with a recipe card. So it's the three dips, uh, three onion, CCB, and lemon dilly. And uh, it comes with a recipe card as well. So she doesn't know this yet, but she will be getting um, a discount on that order. Uh, as my way of saying thank you for participating and uh, commenting in my group. It definitely helps a lot and I appreciate it. Um, I like to take care of my members that support me. And uh, so congratulations, Elaine. I hope you, uh, you enjoy that. I will let you know further, more detail about that in a private message to you. Okay, so we're just waiting for that to boil as I chop the rest of my veggies here. Um, so yeah, you can add peppers, you can add zucchini, you can add literally anything that uh, your little heart desires. I've got broccoli. Um, I just actually, I'm using some leftovers, leftover veggies. So I got broccoli, cauliflower, and a few carrots in here. <laughs> You're welcome, Elaine. I appreciate you so much. Okay, so that's good. It looks like our soup is just starting to boil. So while we wait for that, I am going to get my bread ready. Actually, I'll show you what we're going to add after. So we're going to add some uh, uh, pico, which is like a salsa mix. So it's got um, onion, red and green bell peppers, spices, chili powder, um, salt and herbs. Uh, we're going to add some of that near the end for some flavor. Okay, so... As you can see, it's boiling now. So I'm going to give it a stir again. I'm going to add the veggies as well. vegetables so now that it's boiled we're gonna add in the noodles have you has anyone ever had um, lasagna soup like I love lasagna uh, with the ricotta cheese and the spinach all the different layers and the sauce. Oh, it's so good. So we're just gonna break it up and throw it in. Um, bigger pieces are probably better. Just like my veggies, it's probably better to go bigger. But we will do how it breaks. And when you make it at home, you can make it big, small noodles, whatever you prefer. So, if you're interested at all, let me know. Ooh, we got noodles flying all over the place here. 
So we're putting in five noodles. Five broken up noodles. And we're gonna, so these are the, the red, oven ready noodles. Okay, we'll mix that up. I think it's looking pretty good. Got chunks of meat and veggies and tomato. Okay, so we're gonna let that boil and just for a few minutes and then we will reduce the heat and simmer. So I'm just gonna wash off my board here. It's definitely handy getting the um, cutting mats because you get four of them instead of the cutting board. Um, and when you're doing stuff like this, then you can easily just throw it in the sink and grab another one and do all the dishes later. Okay, so that is boiling. So it's we're gonna reduce the heat and let it simmer. So we'll reduce the heat and I am going to do my garlic bread. So I've got garlic butter on there already, but I like garlic. So I'm going to add a bit more. I'm going to do the minced garlic. Um, just to give it a little bit more of a flavor. So I've got my four and one measuring spoon and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on. We don't want too much because it's very, very powerful. But in the garlic butter that I got, um, it doesn't really have much garlic in it. It's more butter than garlic. So this is my way of making my own. There, so now you can see it on there. And I will add cheese. So I've got mozzarella cheese pre-grated here. I will add some on here. That's still boiling pretty good. Simmer it right down. I like lots of cheese. Okay, and then once the soup is ready, I'll put those in the toaster oven for like five minutes and they will be done. So we still have the spinach to add and also some salt and pepper and the salsa mix. So, I am totally excited about this. So basically what we're waiting on now is the noodles to tender, tenderize. 
But as I was saying earlier, I love lasagna. I usually have lasagna and garlic bread with Caesar salad. Um, oh look, there's a carrot that I forgot to chop up. <laughs> um, but I can't really have salad too often anymore. So I gotta pick and choose. Basically, with ulcerative colitis, um, you gotta pick and choose what you eat once you get into remission. So I am in remission, but that doesn't mean that I can eat anything. Um, so with having the noodles, I shouldn't, and the garlic bread, having salad on top of that is going to be pushing it. Same as the tomatoes. Actually, there's a lot of stuff that I really shouldn't be having in the spinach. Um, tomato skin. So anything with skin, I don't know if you know anything about, um, ulcerative colitis. But anything with skin, any spices, like hard spices, <laughs> like what I'm adding, um, any raw vegetables, any red meat, most meat I can't have. Um, it makes life quite interesting. Anything that has gluten in it. Uh, is a no-no. <laughs> so when I make food, I try to balance my day out so that I don't have too much of that type of stuff. Um, and as I said, I'm in remission, so I can have a little bit, just not too, too much. Do you guys have any health problems. If you do, reach out because Epicure is really, really good for um, health um, restrictions or weight restrictions, diets. Um, they really are. Like the ingredients for the speedy lasagna is onion, garlic, herbs, red bell pepper, and spices. So you don't, like you can read everything on there, which is fantastic. Um, it's non-GMO, it's kosher, it's gluten-free. Those mean a lot to people that have restrictions. They really do. So if you're going to make the speedy lasagna as a lasagna, you can do it in the microwave or in the oven. And I've heard both are fantastic. Um, so you, you use nine of the lasagna noodles, the seasoning, crushed tomatoes, water, two eggs, ricotta cheese, baby spinach, and grated cheese. And then you mix it all together, you layer it, cook it, and you're good to go. All right, so I will check this again. So I'm going to add my spinach now. So I have frozen spinach. Um, fresh spinach works just as good, if not better. This is all I had on hand, so I like to use what I have on hand. So I'm going to put that in there, let it thaw out a bit more. Which will give the noodles time to um, tenderize. And that's basically it. Um, so make sure you pop over into my group and comment, vote on my polls. Those polls show me what you are interested in seeing. Instead of me just making what I want to make and doing what I want to do, it gives me an idea of what you are interested in. So voting on those polls are very, very important. And hey, you never know, you might be like Elaine and end up winning 
free product or discounted product. It's worth the try, right? And trust me, the product is amazing. I made uh, butter chicken last weekend because a bunch of you voted for it. And butter chicken is made with curry and spices. And I'm not a big fan of curry, so I ate it, I enjoyed it. Um, it's not one that I would make again, that's for sure. So if you like curry, fantastic for that. And then before that, I made the uh, classic meatloaf, which was fantastic. I definitely recommend it. Let's see if I got one here on hand. Because it is delicious. Here we go. So classic meatloaf was fabulous. Well, we wait, I'll show you a few more. Sweet garlic chicken is another really, really good one. I'm going to do a poll, another poll um, in a few days. Enchilada is on my list to make. We've got crispy, and crunchy lettuce wraps, which can be used in so many other ways. So just because they have lettuce here as a lettuce wrap, you can use it with tortilla shells. You can actually take the stuffing with the seasoning and put it in peppers for stuffed peppers. Um, you can make like shepherd's pie out of it. There's so many things that you can do with these seasoning packages. You don't have to use the directions on the back. Um, Southern Baked, I really like uh, for making my own chicken strips, chicken fingers. It's a gluten-free crumb mix, which is fantastic. Ooey Gooey Queso is my favorite. It's a hot dip, but it can also be used in many other ways. So I could add some of this to the lasagna soup and it would give it like a cheesy flavor, which actually I might do that. Um, I'm gonna taste it and give it a try and then I'll go from there. So that's just a few of the, the seasoning packages that they have. Actually, I'm gonna use my meat separator for this. I'll show you. Still pretty frozen. There we go. It works great for chopping up. And then once it's smaller, it tends to um, break down easier. There we go. So those noodles are getting tender. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Okay, so I will take a picture. I'll actually I'll add some of this now because it's almost ready. So I'm using my three and one, four and one spatula or four and one measuring spoon again. And I'm just going to add, oh, let's go like this. So the nice part about these is they fit into every jar. Um, it's got to pick the end. So let's add in some of this. And once again, it is onions, red and green, bell peppers, spices, chili powder, herbs, and some salt. Um, 
I'm going to add some pepper, which turmeric, black pepper. Um, turmeric is good for your digestion. It is a bit, got a bite to it, so just be careful when you add or when you use it. Okay, and the salt, I like to test it out before I add salt. which I will test it out once this is ready. So I will add a picture of the finished product when it is, when I'm ready to eat. I will have my garlic bread there. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more in my group, there is um, lives and videos under popular post topics and I also have some videos on YouTube under deliciously foodtacular with Leanne uh, okay I hope to hear from you hashtag replay and thank you for joining me have a wonderful evening everyone